Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Mind Juice, True Crime. Friday, December 30th, 48 days later, we were all greeted with some mind juice and news upon catching wind that the Idaho 4 killer was apprehended and arrested without issue earlier this morning. 2,400 miles away, all the way across the nation in Pennsylvania. As I said in my first video, um, I wouldn't be surprised if the suspect was someone on nobody's radar. Um, society today, YouTube, the world itself is often too quick to presume that all the facts and evidence is available on its platform or what we have available. Remember, as the public, we only ever have 5 to 10% of the knowledge regarding a particular case in comparison to the authorities for a reason, integrity of the case and successful prosecution. With that said, I question whether or not I would post this as I am not a big fan of off-the-wall speculation or rabbit hole sliding, but I have reason that given the oddity, coincidental, potential merger of the two, coupled with Brian Kohlberger's comment upon being arrested today, was anyone else arrested? I came to the conclusion that there's enough for me to at least share. I am very sensitive to the implications that this presents, however feel ethically sound proceeding as Enon has, has clearly brought such attention on himself. If, down the road, let's say a decade or two passes, and everyone finds out Enon has no further connection other than what he has already provided, then from me to you, my man, Einan, I apologize. Sincerely. However, if I am on to something, then serves you right. Touche. First and foremost, um, we learned that Ryan Kohlberger's white Hyundai Elantra was found within the vicinity upon his apprehension further learning that they traced his vehicle somehow yet unknown but i'd imagine that they were able to follow the car to some extent via cameras ring doorbells cctv and at one point being able to gather a license plate which i believe led them to their initial catching on to him or having a suspect on the radar further an article that I had read said that they were also able to cross-reference DNA found at the crime scene with items from Brian Kohlberger's on-campus apartment in Pullman, Washington at WSU, Washington State University. Which is crazy because they didn't get the warrant to go there until this morning at 7 a.m. However, it's clear that they're very confident they had this guy pinned um, we'll find out more as the details come forward. Okay. Now, how does Ainan have anything to do with this, you ask? Shortly after hearing of the news this afternoon, I watched some coverage wherein they revealed, upon digging into Brian Kohlberger a little after his arrest, he was an avid crime buff. Even posting, while he was a Master's of Science student in criminology at DeSales University back in his home state of Pennsylvania. Doing some research work, he posted an ad searching for candidates to take part in a study of his. Okay, and I'm going to read that to you here very quickly, okay? He writes, seven months ago, research participation needed. Hello. My name is Brian, and I am inviting you to participate in a research project that seeks to understand how emotions and, and psychological traits influence decision-making when committing a crime. Inviting you to participate in a research project that seeks to understand how emotions and psychological traits influence decision-making when committing a crime. In particular, this study seeks to understand the story behind your most recent criminal offense with an emphasis on your thoughts and feelings throughout your experience. 
In the event that your most recent offense was not one that led to a conviction, you may still participate. Additional surveys are included after the open-ended section as to best understand your unique traits. The study should take about 15 to 20 minutes to fully complete, which is normal for a doctorate student, um, especially in like uh, psychology, criminology. Um, they have like dissertations and they do little projects. But he posts this on Reddit, okay? This is seven months ago. Um, seven months ago. So it made me think um, instantly of Ainan's um, infamous AMA post on Reddit, wherein he was more than happy to divulge. To divulge. If you've read it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, his history of hardship and experiences regarding his bout with criminal past, drug use, how he's been wronged, etc. Okay? This made me wonder if Ainan would respond to something like this. So seven months ago, per se, let's say, um, Brian Kohlberger is living back in Pennsylvania. Ainan is in Moscow, Idaho. They're both Reddit users. Ainan comes across this. And like his interviews, does he potentially share his history? Okay, you follow me there? Okay, and I know this isn't much, but just listen. This will this will blow your mind, okay? Um, so it made me wonder if, Ina, if Inam would respond to something like this. With that said, I have been following 4chan for the past few weeks, and lo and behold... Ainan Harsh himself has been involved in some brief exchanges on the Idaho 4 murders thread. Now, I don't usually use 4chan. I went into it to kind of check it out while following this case, and I was, gosh, what's the word, taken aback, surprised. Um, it's not for the faint of heart. Um, the context, the visuals are very graphic. Um, it's a community of, I don't know, incels or just slurs or rampant um it's a pretty pretty dark conversation um but Ainan himself in the last couple weeks um has been um they'll do it jokingly too so he's Jewish and the people in the chat will make funny like Jew jokes at Ainan and then he'll respond back with like hashtag out of the oven like Completely dark, um, inappropriate, um, like taboo type conversations. But if you look at the Grub Truck video when he says what he says there, or even on the interviews, this is his personality, right? Um, so he received a bunch of Jews slandering, joking around. Um, this took place over the last few weeks. Okay. And there's a lot of disturbing pictures and stuff, and people are, you know, calling him the killer and, and whatnot. And I didn't think anything of it, all right? Um, but that's important to know here, okay? He refers to girls with the C word. I'm not even going to say it here. Ethically, I just, I don't I, I don't use that word. Um, but it refers to women. Very derogatory. Um, but then today, um, this all leads me back to Brian Kohlberger. Today, I saw that some user pulled a message off of 4chan, okay? There is a specific thread for these murders, okay? So dated on 12-12, December 12th, which says, this is graphic here, so I warn you, which says, I hung their intestines from a ceiling fan and shoved my knife up Kaylee's cunt. I'm hiding in the woods in shithole Pennsylvania. Good luck catching me. Okay, and I'll provide a picture here that you can see this. This was on December 12th. Now, at the time, I remember scrolling past this then and remembering, however, it kind of seemed out of context, you know, but that, but that's 4chan. I mean, there's everything off the wall, and you may, if you're not used to it, that sounds really dark to you, that's obvious, that's the guy, no. There's a lot of commentary um, in the same vein as this. Um, and important to note, um, I looked today, the same thread that that was pulled from are the same threads Einem was active in commenting in, okay? On that same date, 1212, Einem Harsh released slash published his AMA book. So yes, you heard that right. On December 12th, this cryptic message was put on 
4chan in the same day, okay, not quite a month away, murders were November 13th, this is December 12th, so on day like 29, come find me, I'm in the woods, is posted, and on that same day, Einon Harsh releases his AMA, which is like what, I don't know, 15, 20 pages if you printed it out, um, is it a coincidence? Most likely, but I was struck upon hearing that Brian Kohlberger's first initial statement to authorities was anyone else arrested. Now, yes, I realize that this does not mean absolutely anything. He very well could simply be saying such to continue to instill fear or continue his mind games. Um, for example, John Wayne Gacy, um, the infamous Chicago serial killer, um, said the exact same thing to police upon being arrested. And it appears to this day he was full of crap. It was just to instill fear. However, in this case, it made me think, how did Brian Kohlberger arrive in Washington? Months ago. 90 days ago. Less than three months. Yet he had a house with five to six girls living in it, canvassed and plotted, when the residents were undergraduates from and at a completely separate university approximately 10 miles away in Moscow, Idaho. He just moved from Pennsylvania to Washington 90 days prior. How slash when would he cross their pass? When would he plot? Did he know when he was going to act it out, etc.? So for me, the biggest red flag is, is he's very clearly the guy. I 100% believe that. And I'm happy that, that they have him arrested. But how did this 28-year-old guy move across country, arrive in Washington, 10 miles away from Idaho, and within 90 days, 90 days, he had undergraduate females from a different separate university pinpointed and targeted and had that place down to the T to where he, he knew he could get away. Okay, so I ask myself and want to share with everyone else to ponder, did Einan come across Brian Kohlberger's research post, contact him, and share his experience slash life story with him, just as he did so willingly with the world on Reddit via his AMA? Ask yourself, that AMA is exactly the research participant answers that that study seeks out. Okay? It gives you goosebumps. All right? If he did, if Ainan did, he was from and raised in Pullman, Washington, where Brian Kohlberger would eventually move to begin his doctorate this past August. They were active on the same 4chan slash Reddit threads during the same time frames. Without the car being traced, etc., leading to a shithole in Pennsylvania, a cryptic tweet on 4chan, it would be impossible to make this connection as we did not know the suspects ran, ran off that way. Did he hang the internal organs, shove the knife into Kaylee? Um, which makes me think, if you look at that cryptic text that I showed you on 4chan, he said I hung there, as in plural, like there, like the victims, and then he specifically shows hatred towards one targeted person, Kaylee, okay? If this is true, and if Brian Kohlberger did add this on 4chan, he targeted Kaylee too. Now, why was he living through the experiences and the unique traits of Einon? Is this part of his research? Is he some, like, doctor, psychological Frankenstein? Like, seriously, you know, this is a very smart individual, very intelligent man who's very into crime, probably studies killers to a T, okay? Um, same infatuation as Ainon, Kaylee, that is. Always, they both are, always seem to emphasize her when speaking, which I covered in my previous videos. Okay, did Brian Kohlberger get this post? House, victim scope, from his research candidate? He would be able to provide the geographic tactics, Ainan this is, 
will be able to provide the geographic tactics as he did so well in his interviews. How did Brian Kohlberger manage to pull this off in and out, free for 48 days before being arrested? He just moved there. Okay? Yes, the reputation for the house was a party house, but he lived 10 miles away in a doctorate program and also working as a teacher's assistant for three months. How much of a personal opinion slash perspective was he individually by himself able to develop of these specific residents, of these specific victims over that short period of a time? That rage, that vengeance, that hatred, how could that... He's 28 years old, doctorate student, very intelligent, seemingly made it that many days without, what, he's a seatbelt infraction and that's it? But somehow, he's so vulnerable in that area. Within 90 days, he grew to November 13th, 3 o'clock, focused, fixated, ready. When he asked the authorities this morning, was anyone else arrested? Was he referring to Ainan? Is Ainan aware that his research was slash may have been used as a means for BK to get a profile intel on a potential plot? Did Ainan share the ins and outs with Brian Kohlberger as he did so openly with the world in his interviews? Yet maybe Ainan's even unaware at the time that he was giving intel for such. He would have to know now, Ainan that is, upon hearing of the rest, learning of his students, PhD research slash focus. So what I'm saying there is, is Ainan in, in and knows? Um, you know who it is and, and knew about it? You know, his 4chan buddy, they're sitting there shooting back and forth. Or did Brian Kohlberger, Hannibal Lecter, him... And Ainan didn't even realize that he was giving him a profile and intel and everything he needed to pull the act off. Brian Kohlberger, meanwhile, always knowing that he would have all the ducks in a row to frame Ainan. It's crazy psychological stuff, but remember, this guy studies killers. He's getting a doctorate in criminology. A doctorate. Everything this man did was with intention and by design. However, I get stuck. Why the hell would you pull a car up to the, to the house? I'm so glad he did. But I mean, he's a doctorate student. Like, why would you pull something like an identifier like that up to the house? I mean, so brazen and confident. You know, park 10 blocks away and walk. I'm so glad he didn't do that. Um, but, yeah, um, as far as the uh, uh, connection there, um, I don't know. Um, listen to what I have to say. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Again, I'm not big on speculation. Um, I just wanted you to hear me out. Um could this have been a mind game of chess, you know, that this research candidate just so happened to be where he was going to get his PhD? Or did he choose that area because of that? How long has he had this planned? Um, and Ainan either was in on it or, or had no clue he was being used, taken advantage of. I don't know. I could be way off base. But it's been, what, 48 days? The cryptic message on 4chan posted by Brian Kohlberger was on December 12th. The AMA, which is a research answer, okay, it, it would qualify. Seriously, look at it yourself. It's posted on the same day, December 12th. Could be a coincidence. But it's crazy because they're both active on the same thread chatting. Both these guys. So if that's a coincidence, so was it too that they're in the same thread talking with the same type of people, the incel crowd. Now I'm leaning more the way of Brian Kohlberger manipulating 
and using Einan. And Einan not really having any clue. I mean, look at my videos. I got a sense and was able to pull out certain things that made me suspicious of him. Wouldn't a doctorate student in criminology be able to see the same thing? And also realize the opportunity that he would be able to take advantage of that type of personality and persona? Frame him for this? Is that why he asked? Was anyone else arrested? If he's been monitoring and watching YouTube, he's going to see that einan has been brought up. It's impossible that he hasn't. Was anyone else arrested? Is this all part of the, the plan? Man, wicked psychology, man. Whew. Um, but as far as finding the weapon, I mean, guys, that's the same Elantra. He drove from Idaho to Pennsylvania. That knife could be anywhere. And it's crazy. I live in the Midwest, and it was kind of scary to realize that this dude easiest route drove right through my state so at one point i was kind of close to him eerie as heck but that weapon could be in any state it could be anywhere um so if they find it i think it'll be a miracle um why did he bring the car so close i talked about that and my guess is did he drive straight from the scene road tripping back to pennsylvania Meaning, I don't think he went back to his apartment in Pullman, Washington. Why would he do that? My guess is he left his apartment in Pullman. Drove to Moscow, Idaho. Completed his act. And then drove from that point straight to Pennsylvania. I mean, why not? Those are That's the footage of us seeing the car. It would make sense how they traced him. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. I uh, hope you enjoy. And uh, Happy New Year's to everybody if I don't make another video before then. And welcome 2023. Good night. Sometimes killings will kind of like grab my interest. Uh, I'm, I'm Enon Harsh. Um, I grew up in Pullman. I was born in France, but I moved here before I was like one. Um, I was homeschooled, went to high school into Pullman High, uh, graduated there, um, did a bunch of traveling and like working in Pullman because it's, you know, washing the wages are a little bit better. Some of the restaurants are better too, I think. And um, um, I picked up a, a couple of hitchhikers on campus, right? They were trying to go to the next party and it was really cold and they're like, we're not trying to walk or whatever. And um, they were going to... Um, they were going to a couple like a couple houses down there going to like a party over there or whatever and um you know like the girl's pretty cute she was kind of hitting on me and i was like oh this girl's pretty cool the dude in the back was like he was a little bit sketched out he's like yo like um people know where we are if you try to kill us like um people know where we are and i was like okay that's kind of weird bro i'm just like you know talking to this girl she's pretty cute and like you're like thinking I'm like going to stab you. I'm literally just giving you a ride here. Oh, I had to get some gas first. So maybe they were like a little bit sketched yeah. out. We, they were, um, they were from, it was, what it was interesting to me is they were from, they were from Coeur d'Alene. And, um, you know, I know some of the people that were in the house are also from Coeur d'Alene. And, um, yeah, the, the back of the house was definitely, that's where the yard is too. And that's where they have their small little gatherings. So it's like, you can park anywhere on that side of the hill and you can just walk down and there's their sliding door. For obvious reasons, I'm going to ask you, are you the killer? <laughs> no, I think that's obvious to anyone who's not a, you know, completely stupid <laughs> or flat earther or, you know, I don't know. I, I guess I guess it might look kind of crazy, you know, just because my life or whatever. But someone just like, you know, like going off and like, I don't know, hiding in the bushes or something like they're waiting for like a deer and then like waiting for like the whole like neighborhood to get quiet and then go in and and do that shit you know what i mean so that's my most recent theory but i don't i don't know <laughs> maybe like some dude went in to like rape the girl and they weren't like ex expecting to find her boyfriend there so he just like went crazy and killed a bunch of people um i'm also thinking maybe just like a serial killer who gets off on killing girls maybe um like some dude who's like really professional is really good at it and goes around just doing it um i'm also